Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to talk about how you can actually retrieve um, documents using a using only the, the name of the collection. So in my case over here, I have a collection called uh, Cars and in this course, uh, I'm going to show you how you can retrieve all the documents. In my case, I have only five documents and I'm going to be using the field name uh, for the field that I want to retrieve. Uh, and uh, previously, you can, you can actually uh, remember if you follow my channel, you can actually remember that I did this using uh, I, I did retrieving a list and single documents from custom actions in Flutterflow. This is actually the same thing. We'll use custom actions on the uh, on page load. But the difference is that if I show you actually the previous uh, method, we used actually a document reference, both for the single document. This is the single document and also for the list of documents we used document reference but how you can actually do this how you can actually do the same thing only using <clears throat> the name of the collection so let me show you uh, what is uh, uh, what is the final uh, so to say product from it so i have this is my demo app you probably saw it uh, so this is my demo app and i have this in filter uh, using CC. So this is the name of my page and you can actually see the names of the cars that I've been uh, retrieved. And this is the name John's car, uh, CSV demo, my car. So you can see it over here. They have five documents and everything works like a charm. So let me actually show you how uh, you can do it and how you can retrieve documents using only the collection name so if i go and have this simple page and on on page on the scaffold on page load i have only two actions and the first actions is the custom code <coughs> of uh, retrieving uh, all the documents from uh, a collection so in this case the collection name it's course uh, is the name of my collection and the negative one <clears throat> it's actually the limit so if i want to limit it for three let's say or 30 or whatever number i can just write the number over here but in my case i don't want to limit it so that's why i want unlimited i want all the documents so that's why i'm getting minus one if i put minus one over here uh, it i will get all the documents of my collections that, I, that are currently in my collection um, <clears throat> it's a good practice to have a limit so uh, i would recommend you to have some some limit to be honest uh, and then uh, i will show you the actual uh, and then after that let me show you first this so so i have the out this is very important you need to have the out uh, the action output value uh, variable name and then we can use this actually so we can update up state i have a created uh state so up state which is list and this would be a list of strings uh this is how i create it so if i go to uh the app state i just wrote the list and uh, this would be a list and the list of strings i just click create i already did it so i don't want to create it again you can see it over here this is what you should see and then let me go back to the uh to the actions so after that choose the list and then click set values when you click set values in my case i'm going to take the name so you have to choose uh action output cars data is the name of my output and then put and then choose map list items you can also filter the items if you want to uh, in my case i'm getting all the documents like i said so i have map list items and then i am going to take the name of it you can take the name i can take the brand or whatever i want to uh, as long as is as long as uh, as it is a string so in my case, I'm taking the name and then no further actions. And let me show you the actual code. 
so if I go to the actual code, there are a couple of things. So let me uh, so let me show you the code from here. So let's go to the custom code get doc. Uh, sorry, get docs from collection is the name of the collection that you, that uh, that I'm using, or actually the code that I'm using. It's a custom action. The reason for that it's a custom action is that we're going to use uh, get document once or some actions that are not available in a custom function. So you cannot use this code in a custom functions. Custom function, keep that in mind. And also you need to exclude for compilation. You don't have any errors here, but uh, you need to exclude it from compilation. Otherwise you get an error saying that get document once. Uh, it's uh, uh, you don't uh, the code doesn't know about this and you get this error. So you need to exclude it from compilation. And then you have two arguments, which is the collection name and the limit, like I said, and the return is actually what document. So it's, it's it will be a list of documents. Even if you have actually one document, it will be still a list of documents. So keep that in mind. And then uh, here in the argument, you have the collection name, uh, like I said. So it is very important to know that in my case, because I'm using cars, uh, you need to make some changes. So first of all, uh, every time, like w when you see cars record, you have to change. So you can use use uh, you can change it very easily by selecting. Uh, so let me zoom a little bit. Probably it's better to zoom a little bit, and then hide the settings so you can see better. Let me zoom a little bit, a little bit more. So probably you see better right now. I think I cannot hide this nav bar on the, on the left. But yeah, uh, what I want to say is that you can have this cars record. If your record is uh, named something else, then then you have to just click uh, mark it and then click Control D. So look, when I click Control D, I'm actually selecting this one. And I said this one, and I said this one, and this one, uh, and this one. So in total, I have like, I think seven or eight selections. And here, if I want to use, uh, use users, so keep that in mind, I have to add, for example, users record. And then here, uh, here, this should be user record with a lower case. So keep that in mind. This should be with a lower case. This should be with an upper case. So keep that in mind. And then when you change it to users, uh, then you have to change it here as well, right? So you have to change it for users as well over here. So this is how you change your collection name. Like I said, if you want to change it, because probably your collection name will not be cars after uh, uh, like like mine so if so let me go back to car cars record i think was the name of my collection and then i have to change this to cars record car and this will be cars record with the lower case and then i will change it back to cars over here yeah and then I changed it back to it to, to what it was and I didn't save it. So uh, so yeah, I don't have this save because I didn't change anything. So keep in mind that you have to change your collection, right? So I can write to do, change the name, change the name of the collection from cars record to your collection, let's say users collection or users or users uh, record. So it's the name of the collection capital letter and then record. Keep that in mind. This is how for the flow uh, it's out to uh, uh, out to uh, creating your classes. So to do change it here, change the name here, and then you need to change the name, like I said, change the name here to 
times with capital letter and one with lower letter and here we only need to change it with the lower letter it's only once with a lower letter okay so this is the code like I said I hope you get it it's not very difficult I think to just change the name of it and this is the code what you are going to uh, have at the end and then the other thing that you have to set up is that when you actually get the code or when you put this in the app state and you have to go to you have to for example I have a colon and in this colon I have generate children from variable and the generated children from variable is coming from the app state list and then this will be a single car so now I have access to the single car and I can use this single car to actually click over here and say uh, list me the car item so this is the car item no further changes car item so the car item we actually have the name of the car so keep that in mind if you as I said if you want something else then the name of the car uh, you have to do it over here right so you have to do it over here so in my case I'm getting the name but you can get the brand or whatever field that you have as long as it is a string uh, if it's not a string you can do it with the app state you can you can have a list of integer for example then you can put an integer or wherever you want to uh, and this is important it is actually important to do it this way and the reason you cannot actually because the other thing that maybe someone is uh, asking is can I actually use uh, the out the action output can I use it from cars data directly and the, and the answer is no and this is because the page loads faster than the uh, on page load action so the data is not yet loaded and you're trying to load data and then you have actually a red screen so I'm calling it red screen of that so you don't need this you don't need the red screen of that so this is actually the only way you can do it and that's why when you actually have uh, when you actually visit the, this page for the first time uh, you can actually see see it blank for a couple of seconds like probably you saw the beginning so it will be like one two seconds blank and then you can actually see the data and if you try to access it directly it will actually give you uh, uh, the red uh, page of that and your your app will not work so that's why you put first first you put it in the app state and then you are getting the data from the app state and the last question is why do we need that so why do we need to to get uh, the backend or, or to get the data from on page load and the reason for that is that 99% of the time you not uh, want it to actually display it on your page I'm showing you how you can display it in order if you want to display it but 99% you actually have a statement over here so sorry a condition so actually have a condition over here <clears throat> and in this condition you actually uh, have something like if the car it's uh, something so let me try and uh, reproduce what I'm trying to say so let's say that let's say in my example it's a very um, it's a very demo example but whatever so let's get the first car and let's say that if the first car now uh, but yeah in this case it's not very uh, so number let's say number of items it's very broadly example but let's say the number of items so let's say that the number so let's say that if the cars are less than and let's say are less than four for example so in this case i would just have if the cars are less than four then something is wrong with this with with my logic or i don't i need 
more cars so the user have to add more cars and then I can redirect so if the cars are less than four I can actually redirect the user if it's true I can redirect the user to some other page and this is like I said this is actually uh, the reason for that is that you don't want the reason the, the user to open this page uh, in general and that's why you have this on uh, page load because you want to get some data from your database uh, fire storage uh, firebase sorry and then decide what to do so for example if the user is admin so if it's admin then go to some other page or if it's not admin go to some other page if this page is only restricted for admins uh, then you could do it this way. You can actually, uh, there is a funny comment about me doing this and there was a funny comment on the video I'm uh, talking about this video, there was a guy actually uh, who said why do I need this and then uh, one day after that he, he said that this is what I actually wanted and I need it so I'm very happy that I watched this video. So yeah, like I said you never know what you need so it's good to know what you can actually do and for the end of the video uh, I want to actually say thank you because I'm already reaching uh, 1500 subscri uh, subscribers to my channel thank you very much for the support firstly and secondly I just want to say that I have this uh, Wednesday sessions so I do every Wednesday uh, live sessions and if you want to talk with me you're free to uh, to submit uh, here in the calendar or you can actually join the live session using the chat in uh, my YouTube channel so I hope you really like this video and I hope you enjoyed so thank you very much for watching and have a nice day